The forests of Christmas Island reek from millions of dead creatures killed by invasive crazy ants. Yet with so many attacking at one time, even a fully armoured crab doesn't stand a chance. Which, since the 1990s, have wiped out about 40 million red crabs. During the annual crab migration, all of Christmas Island is seeing red. Where tourists once saw swarms of crabs, only torn bodies remain, prompting efforts to restore the population by releasing millions of wasps. The island, an underwater mountain rising three miles with just 1,180 feet above sea level, lies 217 miles south of Java. Geography and unique wildlife of Christmas Island. Situated 1,600 kilometers northwest of Perth, Australia, Christmas Island is celebrated for its pristine landscapes and the annual migration of millions of red crabs from the rainforest to the sea. This natural wonder attracts scientists, photographers, and tourists from across the globe. However, the island's ecosystem faces a major crisis caused by invasive yellow crazy ants, a species unintentionally introduced decades ago. These ants form massive super colonies that overpower native insects and small animals, disrupting the island's food web and threatening its ecological stability. Despite ongoing conservation efforts, controlling their spread remains one of the island's greatest environmental challenges. Crazy ants underground cities and rapid spread. On Christmas Island, invasive ants rapidly build vast underground colonies that function as a single organism, with multiple queens enabling growth of up to three feet daily. One colony spans about 1,850 acres, over three times Monaco's size, and houses billions of ants above and below ground. Their expansion has devastated red crab populations, killing any crabs that enter their territory. Ants attack methods and crab population decline. Yellow crazy ants, accidentally introduced to Christmas Island, have decimated its red crab population, wiping out 10, 15 million individuals, about one third of the species. Using corrosive acid to attack the crab's eyes and joints, the ants quickly disable and kill them in overwhelming swarms. They then turn the abandoned burrows into nurseries for their young. The same acid also acts as a lethal gas, killing other nearby crabs within 24 hours, revealing the ant's devastating effect on the island's ecology. Poisoned bait efforts to control crazy ants. The ant control program on Christmas Island began in 2001 using Antoff bait containing the neurotoxin fipronil, which targets invertebrates. Rangers distributed it by hand and helicopter only in dense colonies and during the dry season to protect red crabs. While the bait temporarily reduced ant numbers, they later recolonized untreated areas, requiring repeated treatment. Relationship between ants and yellow lackscale insects. The massive ant colonies on Christmas Island rely on yellow lackscale insects, which produce honeydew a sugary liquid that fuels ant reproduction and aggression. In return, ants guard the insects like livestock. This partnership drives their invasive spread, but the insects damage trees by draining sap, causing leaf loss and mold that blocks photosynthesis. Unlike ants, they can be controlled by introducing natural predators. Biological control using parasitic wasps. Scientists discovered Tecardiophagus sumavali, a small wasp from Southeast Asia, as a natural predator for yellow scale insects on Christmas Island. The wasp kills female scales by laying eggs inside them and effectively controls their population without risk to humans, animals, or plants. Able to parasitize more than 150 scale insects, the wasp is ironically troublesome in India and Thailand's shellac production. Under the Crab Rescue Project, Australian scientists imported 300 from Malaysia, breeding thousands and releasing 18,000 into yellow, crazy ant-infested areas on Christmas Island. Half the wasps were introduced into ant-infested habitats, while the remainder were bred under controlled greenhouse conditions with scale-infested plants. The phased release strategy ensured careful monitoring of their biological control impact. 
This project, unlike previous failed attempts, was backed by rigorous research and oversight from the Australian Department of Agriculture. Tests in Malaysia confirmed the wasps attack only the target scale insects, remaining effective even when guarded by yellow crazy ants. It stands as Australia's most thoroughly studied biological control, with two years of monitoring showing strong results. Positive impact of wasps on crab population recovery. Christmas Island's ant population collapsed, with surveys recording just 10 ants out of 700 in one site, enabling crabs to return to old nesting grounds. Scientists cautioned that further data was needed to confirm the wasps' role, but since 2017, red crab numbers have risen from 40 to 50 million to 100 million by 2024. Despite this, ants remain a concern on the island's isolated, delicate ecosystem. Broader ecosystem threats from ants and scale insects. Invasive ants threaten over 20 species of land crabs and diverse wildlife such as lizards, frogs, small mammals, turtles and chicks. Their colonies can annihilate forests and also pose risks to people, pets and mainland agriculture. By cultivating mold-producing scale insects, they damage trees, sugarcane and soil, paving the way for other invasive species. A proposed use of African micro wasps to control invasive ants on Christmas Island has drawn debate as the species is harmful to Australian agriculture. The project is still under early research and regulatory review. Importance and life cycle of Christmas Island red crabs. Endemic to Christmas Island, red crabs are essential ecosystem engineers. About 120 million cover the forest floor, active during the day, yet avoiding sun exposure, feeding on leaves and fruits that enrich the soil and support plant life. Throughout most of the year, red crabs live alone in scattered burrows, retreating underground for two to three dry months and emerging when rains arrive in October or November, much like species in southern climates. Each autumn, red crabs journey en masse to the coast for breeding. Their eggs hatch right after mating, with larvae spending about a month at sea before settling on land. The migration sometimes stops traffic, prompting road closures. Despite the disturbance their migration causes, locals celebrate the red crabs, whose weddings coincide with prime fishing season. Now protected and rarely eaten, the crabs are key to preserving the island's ecosystem and forest health. Red crabs sustain forest balance by cleaning leaf litter, turning soil, and controlling seedlings. In their absence, yellow crazy ants cause leaf buildup, upsetting humidity, temperature, and nutrient flow, leading to excessive vegetation and ecological imbalance. The apparent lushness from ant caused undergrowth hides an ecosystem in distress. Their invasion disrupted a forest balance built over millennia, leading to ecological harm and reduced species diversity. The decline of red crabs has allowed invasive species like giant African snails to spread, weakening forest diversity. Cutting ant populations lets crabs recover, improving soil health and reducing the need for costly conservation. In addition to the well-known red crab migration, During the annual crab migration, all of Christmas Island is seeing red. Christmas Island's blue crabs also travel annually, following in sequence and showcasing the diversity and ecological importance of the island's crab population. Blue crabs and their resilience to crazy ants. Most streams on Christmas Island lie near the coast, making blue crab migrations shorter than those of red crabs. Larger and higher on the food chain, blue crabs sometimes prey on red crabs but still depend on daily freshwater submersion. This aquatic habit shields them from yellow crazy ants, which avoid moisture and whose acid is easily washed away. Eradication success of crazy ants on Johnston Atoll. In the North Pacific, Johnston Atoll, home to vast seabird colonies that evolved without predators, was devastated after yellow crazy ants invaded around 2010, quickly spreading and attacking both adult birds and chicks. On Johnston Atoll, yellow crazy ants devastated seabird colonies by attacking them with acid sprays that burned skin, damaged eyes, and led to widespread deaths. Their rapid spread transformed the island's once safe breeding grounds into hostile terrain. Recognizing the ecological crisis, the US Geological Survey joined control efforts in 2014, 
initiating one of the most ambitious ant eradication programs in history. Over 10 years, teams of scientists and volunteers applied targeted baiting, conducted habitat restoration, and monitored nests. Their persistence paid off when the infestation was finally eradicated, a historic first for large-scale ant removal in the US. Roughly 100 dedicated individuals worked across 20 strike teams for 10 years, investing over 130,000 hours to wipe out yellow crazy ants on Johnston Atoll. The teams continuously improved their techniques, hand collecting surviving ants after each bait treatment. In 2020, detection dogs were brought in to inspect the atoll's 118 miles of terrain, ensuring no ants remained. Their searches verified total eradication of the species, a landmark victory for island conservation. The triumph at Johnston Atoll demonstrated that yellow crazy ants can be completely removed, offering hope for conservationists worldwide. Yet, this small atoll differs greatly from larger, more intricate ecosystems like Christmas Island, where thick vegetation and vast landscapes make eradication nearly impossible. The ongoing struggle against the ants remains one of conservation's toughest challenges.